Hi guys, so we're finishing up chapter 12, lesson three with the problems. So again, any table you see in all of chapter 12 that has this light purple uh, bar at the top, these are very important. You're going to want to circle them and want to ear the pages down so that you can come back to them as needed, okay? So, on this one, it's real short. It is one pound equals 16 ounces and one ton equals 2,000 pounds. So this is very important. Almost rarely do they ask about tons. It's almost always this one, one pound, 16 ounces. Except of course for number one here. So four tons, so if I had four tons, and I knew every ton I had was 2,000 pounds, I would take my four tons times 2,000, that's not a great zero, and I would get 8,000. So four tons is 8,000 pounds. I will use tons to measure elephants and, you know, trucks and some really large cars. Um, so that's, it's a lot of weight. All right, so complete here, five tons to pounds, another tons question, of course. So if I have five tons and I know that each ton is 2,000 pounds, I'm gonna end up here with 10,000 pounds. Here's a much more likely question with six pounds and you wanna change pounds to ounces. So you go up here to pounds, you see it's 16 ounces, and you would say that 16 times six, six times six is 36, carry it three, six times one is six, plus three is nine, so this is 96 ounces. And that's really all there is to it. So down here on your own, pounds to ounces, you would do 16 times seven, and I'll let you finish that on your own. And now here we have another, we go six tons um, to pounds. Just make sure you're looking at the right one. So I know I have, I know every ton is 2,000 pounds, and I have six of them. You do the math, fill in the answer, and you'll be just fine. We have some comparison here, so greater than, less than, or equal to one pound, 15 ounces. Well, this one's kind of like a freebie question because it's pretty simple. You go up to your chart, you find out one pound is 16 ounces, and you're going to say, I know that this is 16 ounces versus 15 ounces, and 16 wins. Two tons versus two pounds. So this is really just checking vocabulary. If you know that two tons is 4,000 pounds, or even if you know a ton is 2,000 pounds, um, that is automatically going to be greater. So, all right, not too difficult of a lesson. These lessons go pretty fast once you get the hang of the vocabulary. All right. Question number eight. A landscaping company ordered eight tons of gravel. They sell the gravel in 50 pound bags. How many pounds of gravel did the company order? So first off, what's important? Uh, what information do we need? I'm gonna make sure I get the whole bottom page, bottom half here. Okay. So the landscaping company orders eight tons of gravel. We know one ton equals 2,000 pounds. They sell the gravel in 50 pound bags. How many pounds of gravel did the company order? Well, I'll be honest with you, this whole 50 pound bags doesn't mean anything to me. That is extra information. I need to know that eight times 2,000 equals 16,000 pounds of gravel. And you're done. 
If you could draw a number line that shows the relationship between tons and pounds, what would it look like? Explain. Well, kind of like the one with ounces and pounds on the other side, you would have some kind of number line. Zero. What they put? They put the larger one. Zero to 2,000. The bottom here would be your ton. And a pound would be like way, way, way over here. Like it would barely make the line. And of course, every time I try to draw a line, it just makes another thicker line. You would need 2,000 little spaces to represent each pound before you got to the 2,000 that's one ton. So, one ton is 2,000 pounds, and if you're looking at pounds, just way, way, way smaller than that. <laughs> Think smarter. <laughs> it's not a great question. All right, number 10. Write the symbol that compares the weight correctly. 160 ounces versus 10 pounds and 600 pounds versus 3 tons. Well, I'm going to do the 600 pounds to 3 tons because 3 tons is 6 thousand pounds so I know this is going to be a less than 600 pounds is less than three tons now 16 ounces I really 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 like that they use 16 here because when I go to divide this to find how many pounds this is I'm gonna I really I already like the 16 in it so when you say that 16 goes into 160 It goes in absolutely 10 times. So this is 10 pounds. So these are equal. And that is it. All right. Moving on. Question 11. Now these kind of questions, they, they tend to take a little bit longer. <coughs> Alexis bought a half pound of grapes. How many ounces of grapes did she buy? Dan drew the number line below to solve the problem. He says his model shows that there are five ounces in half a pound. What is his error? We have pounds on the top, ounces on the bottom. Look at the way Dan solved the problem. Find and describe his error. Draw a correct number line and solve the problem. All right. So let's see if I can get my snip and sketch to do the whole page. And we will go from there. So I hope you're already looking at his number line because the problem is that pounds don't use a base 10. The pounds or ounces, 10 ounces does not equal one pound. So his error is right here because this is not correct. One pound does not equal 10 ounces. One pound is 16 ounces. So he really needs to extend this line out here till he gets to 16 and one pound. So um, his error is, Ten ounces, and you can use a mass symbol, does not equal one pound. And that's that's the problem. That's there's there's nothing else in there that's wrong. Um well, I mean then actually I take that back. We're looking for how much is half a pound of grapes. Well, five is half a ten, but it is not half a sixteen. So if I were looking at one pound being 16 ounces, so we would say a half pound of grapes also does not equal five ounces. A half pound of grapes is eight ounces because half of 16 is eight. So it doesn't say to solve the problem here, it says find the error. So I think we've done that pretty well. So now in the second box here it says draw a correct number line and solve the problem. So our number line would be something like this where we start at zero and we'll do ounces on the bottom to 16, pounds on the top, zero to one. 
So the top is pounds and the bottom is ounces. PD is not the abbreviation for pounds. For some crazy reason, it's LB. No idea. Okay, so we would have 16 lines in here. I'm not going to count them up, but you can. So we'd go all the way to 16 ounces for, um, for a pound. And one, well, I guess I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Hey, I got it on the first try. So half of that is eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here, if we were trying to stick to how they drew theirs, this would be eight ounces. So if you had half a pound of grapes, you would have eight ounces of grapes. All right. If you need to listen to this more than once, that is not a problem. Oh, so down down here we're going to start answering some questions. So Alexis bought eight ounces of grapes. Look back at the number line you drew. How many ounces are in a fourth of a pound? So go back to the box here. I'm going to switch my color to something different. Um, so if I have 16 ounces in a pound and I want one fourth of a pound, I'm just going to say. Uh, I need to divide my 16 times, divided by 4, which also equals 4. So I do 1, 2, 3, 4, right about midway here, exactly midway, is going to be 4 ounces. So 1 fourth of a pound is 4 ounces. And if you look at the picture here, you could say step one, divide, 16 divided by four is four. So four ounces equals one fourth a pound. There you go. And that's all there is to it. These problems that come up on the last page can be time consuming, but it's just one problem. So, you know, you get to do many levels of the same problem. All right. And I believe that is the end of that lesson. All right. We'll do a new video for lesson 12.4. I hope to see you guys soon and have a good evening. Bye bye.